Hello, how you doing? On the menu today, we're going to do a really simple baked whole fish. I'm using sea bass. You could be using something if, different if you want. Really, really, really easy and absolutely delicious. Doesn't take long at all. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is take a look at the actual fish. So this sea bass has been cleaned, which means that the guts have been taken out. It's cleaned inside. It's been descaled, and all the sharp fins around it have been taken off. Now, you can just get your fishmonger to do that. It's way easier, they'll just do it. They're, they're great at doing it. So yeah, get them to do that. So this fish is about 1.3 kg. So, I mean, it's quite a large fish. And once I got it back from the, the uh, supermarket, from my fishmonger, I then gave it a wash with some cold water, give it another rinse off. And then you may have to see that I've got a knife and I've scored the fish. Can you see? If I lift it up, you can see. I've scored it all the way down on both sides, just down to the bone. It just opens it out a little bit, makes it cook a bit nicer, so we can get all our lovely flavors in. So yeah, there's my fish. Let's move on. So just so you get a bit of a perspective of how big this fish is, it's like, you know, up to my elbow. It's quite a large one. The first thing I want to do is I want to get salt on it. Don't be shy with your salt. And then I'm gonna go black pepper. We're gonna flip that over and we're gonna do the same on the other side. And as you can see, I've scored the other side, as I said. And then we're gonna add some nice flavors to it and you can really play around with the flavors. I'm gonna be going with paprika and thyme today, but you play around with that as much as you want. Okay, let's get a little bit. On the inside, some salt and some black pepper. Okay, so she's nicely seasoned right now. Next up, let's get some paprika. On that goes. This is a sweet paprika. Be careful with paprika because generally there are three types. There's sweet paprika, like I'm using today. There's hot paprika, which is basically chili powder. And then there's smoked paprika, which I think is fantastic. If you can get that, amazing. And again, a little bit on the inside. And my second herb, like I say, is some thyme. I've got some dried thyme. Think about basil, oregano, rosemary. You could even get this kind of spiced up with some kind of cumin, chili powder, coriander, up to you, kind of go in a kind of Indian direction with it. Right, let me just wipe my hands. Now I am gonna add, optional, a few chili flakes. Just some on the top and then you in the middle there, in the center. Lemon juice, I've got a cup of lemon juice, which we're gonna pour over. And on the tray, also olive oil, cup of olive oil, same again, over it goes. Got a few small onions that I've peeled. Just gonna drop them in there. Got some whole garlic, again, cloves that I'm just gonna drop in. We could pop a few of those in the center as we want, in the middle as well. And then I've got some lemon that I've cut just to go in the pan and roast it in the pan. And I'm pretty much ready to go. So we could be using sea bass like we're using today, or tilapia, sea bream, trout, like a rainbow trout, all works the same, doesn't it? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop it in the oven, because we're done now, that's it. We're gonna pop that in the oven, and I'll see you when it comes out. Now, I'm gonna leave some uh, instructions that we're gonna pop up, maybe now-ish, that will tell you about sizes of fish and cooking times. 
Okay, so look at that, absolutely wonderful. That's been in my oven for about 25 minutes. Now what I wanna do now is I'm gonna pop it back in with just the grill or the top element going for about just five minutes, just to kind of get it nice and crispy. I'll be back then. All right, there you go. So yeah, just five minutes with the grill right kind of on it or as close as I can, just to kind of crisp it up. As you can see in there, it's lovely and crispy on the outside and, and just in there, it's beautifully soft. Now what I like to do just at the end is I just want to put a little bit of more olive oil on there and then a little bit of lemon juice. And we're done. Hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you soon. Lots of love.